so many books, so many books. So why do I have so many books? I'll tell you why. It's because I was studying uh, tropical astrology, following along the wheel of the year from a teacher that I really respect. And she's an amazing human, an amazing uh, astrolog astrologer or astrologist, as some people say. I, I don't know what her preference is. And that led me to buy a couple of other books, one she recommended and another one that I thought would be good for me because I've been reading tarot for 30 years now. And what I really wanted to do was learn more about astrology, um, gain more wisdom. And I know that there's astrological associations with the, the different cards in the tarot, and I wanted to learn those as well. So I'm going to go through the books that I picked up for the haul, and we'll talk about them a bit. So just get cozy, get a cup of whatever you want. I got the candle burning back there, a couple of them. And uh, so... Yeah, let's get started. So the first book that I picked up is 12 Faces of the Goddess. Beautiful cover, uh, Danielle Blackwood, and she's the astrologer. I'm taking her in-depth course, and it's all about how to transform your life with astrology, magic, and the sacred feminine. So totally my jam, right? Yeah. Of course, Beth has got her Harmony Goddess. She's doing her goddess paintings. And yeah, there's some really, really amazing things in here. Um, and just being in the group of other people is a wonderful way to learn astrology. She does uh, practice the tropical astrology. And um, now I've been turned on to the true sidereal. But most of the books out there are about tropical astrology, and a lot of what they have to say is true for the true sidereal astrology because the meanings of the planets, um, the energies of the planets, the energies of the different um, houses, you know, and that's sort of the, the physical plane on which these energies act. So it's the stage or the, you know, it's literally the house. It's like this house, this beautiful Victorian house in which I live. Um, all of that is the same with true sidereal as with tropical astrology. Because she recommended this one, The Essential Guide to Practical Astrology by April Elliott Kent. I picked that one up as well. And that says, everything from zodiac signs to prediction made easy and entertaining. Ha! So, yeah. I, I do love a good book, and it's a good, thick one. Good, thick one. Uh, big, enjoyable step towards understanding and using astrology. And that's from Mountain Astrologer Magazine. And at the back, it says, beware. If you pick up this book, you will most likely be irrevocably drawn into the world of astrology. Dell Horoscope Magazine. So those those are going to be good resources, especially the, the one with the goddess, which um, takes each sign and gives us the stories of goddess archetypes that would align with those um, zodiac signs. I also picked up, of course, because... Tarot and Astrology by Corinne Kenner. Now this one, so that's going to be a very, very interesting study. I, I, I feel like I'm going to college. I really do. I've got all these books. I'm going to be taking copious amounts of notes because that's how I really learn is by writing things down and taking notes. Um, and the brain studies have shown that's, that's a great way to learn. And yeah, in books. But what happened was I wasn't feeling the vibes as much as I thought I should with the tropical astrology. So I was always on the lookout to learn something more. That's why I bought those books, thinking, oh, if I can tie it to my tarot reading. I've been reading tarot for almost 30 years. Studied that during my first Saturn return. 
studying astrology during my second Saturn return, I met an amazing human, Julie Kuchiu Watts. And this is the Real Sky Astrology Tarot. So it's, it's got the pictures of the of the signs and stuff. And in, in the back, she has true sidereal resources, a bunch of resources that um, are super helpful for me. And she emailed them to me. We, you know, we got to chatting and oh my gosh, it was so fun. We've still got more books. We still got more books. There's a total of six books. In order to study the true sidereal astrology, which puts the constellations in the same place that astronomy does, whatever it's the pro it's the procession. That's the, it's what it's called. I'm still learning, people. I'm still learning. I'm not a dum dum. I'm still trying to grasp all that I am downloading into my psyche, and boy, am I learning. This book, guidelines for understanding the essentials of the birth chart, chart interpretation handbook and it literally is a handbook it's old-timey handbook with with you know little glyphs and and how to understand uh guidelines for sun and cancer and each and every sign sun and each and every, every yeah so this is something and I'm, I'm totally marking it up i am totally highlighting it and marking it up because this is going to be my my go-to book for quite a bit of my studies and then the final book that is recommended from the course I'm taking. Oh, did I mention the course I'm taking? So I'm taking this course from masteringthezodiac.com and that's where I learned that I was a Taurus and not a Gemini for Sun, Moon, and Mars with a um, Sagittarius rising. So excitement, adventure. Focus. Here we go. Practical, pra predictive astrology, predictive astrology by Bernadette Brady. Tools to forecast your life and create your brighter future. Forward by Teresa Reed, author of Astrology for Real Life. Now, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Teresa's as well. And I I watched her live chats on Instagram when I was getting into the whole astrology thing a couple years ago and started watching those from time to time. So I'm learning and I'm growing. And if you want to learn and grow with me, then stick around, enjoy the channel. Tell me what you think and what your favorite astrology book is. Let me know in the comments below and we can start a conversation and see what's going on. Remember, goddess loves you and wants you to be happy. Okay, back to, oh my gosh, there's a dog. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. You're so cute. You're just so cute. Okay, everybody, Zara, Zara, everybody. Oh my gosh. Little goon. Okay. All right, so the dog, the dog is here. <laughs>